the key skills to be successful at golf croquet are, are pretty simple. If you can hit the ball straight uh, and then use your tactics in order to shoot hoops. It's the only way you get points. Uh, and at the top level, you're looking to hit other balls and interfere with their position and get position yourself. It is quite a tactical game. Some people mistake it for being just a straight shooter's game, and while uh, execution you know, can overwhelm tactics, almost every hoop involves one or two tactical battles that you have to be really mentally strong in order to not only come up and execute a plan, come up with a plan and execute it, but recover when that plan fails or your opponent ruins it, and come up with a new plan, possibly three or four for the same hoop. There's a lot more youth all over the world, New Zealand, Egypt, England, and it's kind of bringing in just a new generation. You see some of the guys that are here. I mean, in the final, you see Fulford, who's been playing the game for I don't even know how long, and then Matthew, who's just been coming up very recently, and he's in his first final in his first international tournament. So I think this younger generation's coming up, and it's going to be good for the sport, and it's just going to continue to grow. Stud. Master blaster. Master blaster. Fantastic. Amazing. Surreal. Um, anything you can think of. So just happy to uh, have the opportunity. Just about that last shot. Not impressive? Uh, just decided to try to finish it while I could. Put it on my mallet and worked out in my favor. So. Um, it's surreal. Um, I've obviously dream uh, had dreams about this moment for a long time and uh, 
uh, in 2020, I played in the, uh, the AC Worlds in, um, in Melbourne. I played against Reg Bamford and uh, had my first chance at, at winning a world championship and came up a little bit short. And so um, this week, I, if I got here to the final, I really wanted to make sure that I uh, gave myself the best chance to win. And, I, and um, obviously, I, I think I've done that. So um, I'm just happy to be in this moment and have the opportunity. And um, it's, it's surreal. So. Robert Fulford is one of the, the greatest players of all time in croquet, and so I knew coming into the match today it was going to be tough and hard fought, and um, so just trying to take any opportunity I could to, to take a, a shot that I felt like I could make, and so I was very aggressive from the beginning, and I, I felt like that gave me the best chance to win.